Hi, I'm Michael Martinez with Video Plus Photography. When I work with still pictures, sometimes I get a blurred picture uh, and I don't want to throw it away. So there is a tool that I use in my workflow process called Topaz Sharpen, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, so we're going to open up show, Topaz Sharpen off of the dock. Um, that's what it looks like. That's what, and here's what the interface looks like. This is your workspace right in here and the, in, inside these dotted lines. First thing you want to do is get your image from your drive. Uh, in my case, I have dim images here. Um, this is the one I've created for this particular project. So we'll open this up. Now, with the first thing you're going to notice, it's going to fill up the screen. Uh, it's not the right size that I want, but I'm going to go ahead and put it down so it fills up the screen enough. Anytime you resize the picture, uh, you will start. You it'll start to process it over again. So once you settle in on the size or where you want to work with, um, just leave it there or you know, move it up and down, whatever you want to do. But keep in mind that it it's waiting for you to settle down. And then once you settle on it, it will start processing it. This is your. Uh, this basically is. Uh, showing you the process time and the update. So it's updating and showing you what, how it's processing it to sharpen this image. Now you'll see here, and I'm going to move this over, the image is blurry, uh, the forefront is blurry, the back right here is where my focus ended up being because we were on a boat and on my camera it kind of missed. So I ended up with a blurry foreground and a sharpened background. On this interface, while we're waiting for this to update, um, we're going to see that we have the presets here. There's different types of presets you can use, like uh, motion blur normal, motion blur very blurry. This is a really good one to use in case it's really blurry. It'll it'll fix it for you. I only, typically I use out of focus, very blurry. Um, if you don't think it's real blurry, but you just want to sharpen, just tweak it just a little bit. Go to very noisy or or just normal. Uh, or you can also go to too soft, very noisy, very blurry, normal, whatever you want to do. Now, right here, as you'll see, um, is the uh, the uh, these are sliders, so you can customize the type of blur, how much blur you want. Uh, for example, I have it at 77, the and suppressing noise. There's not a whole lot of noise, but I'm suppressing the noise at 67, and that's pretty standard for me. Okay. Now, if I went with another focus, like say normal, you would see that the these are the same, uh, or if you go with this one, it'll be the same. Um, here that's a little bit different because that's how I set it up the first time when I used this particular preset. But since I'm using this one, let's go back and it, it, it changed it to what I had it set at before. Of course it's starting over again, but anyway it's going to process it here. Um, to save the images down here, um, down here you'll see down here at the very bottom, it's kind of uh, you know the size and you know what your, what your settings are. Um, now, right here is a masking tool that I'll show you how to use later uh, to reduce the time that you take to, to sharpen an object, but it's more selective. So you're going to use that for a particular thing that maybe you want to, uh, to focus. Up here you'll see how you want your, your workspace to look in a single view, a split view, which is how we have it right now. That allows me to see the before and after effects. I like to do that so that way I can see if I did I over sharpen it, did I it just gives me a little baseline to work with. Okay. So while we're waiting for this to continue, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for us electronically so that way we can see the final result. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sped it up here, you'll note down here at the bottom, uh, this status bar. Instead of being a blue line, it is now a green line. So that tells me that this is finished. Uh, so the object, or the picture rather, is, is updated and it's been sharpened. Though we don't see it right now because I still have this uh, split screen to show the before and after. As I mentioned before, uh, before and after. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and see how it sharpens it. So let's move it over. And now there you have a sharpened picture. Uh, you'll notice now it's sharper here. You'll notice it's a little sharper back here and the water's a little sharper. Uh, plus her face is now sharpened. Uh, and the, uh, the entire, this part of, part of her body here is sharpened. Uh, this is kind of a little overdone, but that's okay. I'll, I'll accept that. And you'll note that there's some aberration because of the sharpening, but it couldn't do this all. 
but um, but if you'll note, you now have more detail. The zipper's got more detail. You can see the tear that's right here. Uh, the lettering, the color is a little bit better. There's still some blurring. Okay, it's still because of the motion that was involved, but you know it it still came out pretty good. Even this, you can even see the baggie in here. Now let's take a look at it before. <clears throat> before you really couldn't make these out. She was out of focus totally. You couldn't even see really what this was, and uh, now the result is it's there. Now the next, so it's 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 where I want it to be. So now let's the next step here is to save the image. Now when you save the image, it's going to ask you some things. So there's going to be a dialog that come up. So I save image. You can save it in any format you want to: JPEG, TIFF, TIFF. You'll also get it some different options when you do that. For example, if we went to TIFF, it would have some different op compression option, your bits, your bit uh, depth. Um, this, these options change. Now I want, of course I want JPEG, so I'll leave it at JPEG, and it defaults automatically to high. You can change this if you want to, but I typically want it high. Um, <clears throat> this is the name of the file. If you wanted to, to keep it this name, you could. Uh, and you could do a, a save to the source directory. So that means where you imported it from. Uh, or you can customize it and put it in a different directory if you want to. Okay. Now, if you want to change the name, you can go down here and you can change the name of this file. Just change it. I click on the change button. It'll bring it to where you, you know, the folder that you want to uh, send it to. So it's totally up to you. You have a little bit more power there. You're empowered to do that. Now I'm going to just select source. I'm going to leave the name this way and then I'm going to save it uh, and we're going to go ahead and do that process and you can see how that works. Hold on. Here we go. So we're going to wait till it finishes um, and it says here it takes about three minutes. Uh, so we're going to let it's three minutes. It's three minutes. Of course I'm going to use magic and make it uh, even less than that. So stay, so stay tuned. So we have about five seconds. It's going to be finishing soon. See there, it says soon. And uh, we'll have this process. Here we go. And we're done. If you notice, it says it's now been processed. The processing has been completed. The picture has been sent over to your to uh, to your folder. And uh, we're, uh, it says back to the editor. If you want to go back to see the picture again and work with it, you can. OK, now <clears throat> we'll take a look at the image and where it's at. So let's go ahead and pick that up, if you'll just to show you where it went. Um, so here we go. It went back to here, and you'll see the name of this. Here it is: Tutorial Blur Pick Dash Sharpen AI Dash Focus Dot JPEG. So that's where it is. That's the picture we just fixed, and I'll kind of open it up, and there it is. Now you will see a little bit of noise and stuff, but it's a salvageable picture now. Yeah, I don't have to throw it away. Now I can uh, do something else with it. Uh, maybe put in a slideshow or something. There you have it, Topaz Sharpen AI in a nutshell.